Hello everyone, welcome to Switch Up as we once again have a look at some of the games coming out for the Switch in this upcoming week. In terms of dates, it's the first week of April, the 1st up until the 7th, and we'll have a look at the games coming out to see if there's anything worth your time and money. So which games are coming out for the Switch this week? Well, let's find out. We'll begin by looking at a game from the sponsor of today's video and their upcoming release on the Switch, Curse of the Sea Rats. This is a hand animated metroidvania which follows the adventures of a cast of swashbuckling pirate rats. You will embark on an epic journey of four prisoners of the British Empire transformed into rats by the notorious pirate witch Flora Byrne. To recover their true forms they will need to fight dangerous bosses, uncover the secrets of the vast Irish coast and ultimately capture the witch who cursed them. The hand-drawn style is inspired by classic cartoons and is laid atop the 3D environments to create a 2.5D experience. You'll have the freedom to explore 18th century Irish coast and navigate a non-linear map comprised of more than 300 rooms and passageways and will discover four playable characters, each with a unique playstyle, with which you can play either alone or with up to three friends in local co-op. There are new abilities and skills to unlock as you play to help you take on the large cast of bosses and complete your quest. Curse of the Sea Rats will cost £16.99 and regional equivalents would have been on the bottom of your screen, although there is 10% off of this price available if you pick the game up just before its launch date of the 6th of April. There will be links in the description should you want to grab this one. Let's move on to more games coming out this week and the first is Batora Lost Haven. This calls itself an interplanetary action RPG with an isometric viewpoint and what it calls a duality system which affects combat, story, puzzles and the ending. It goes on to say that you will navigate your way through a range of unique alien planets and discover a galaxy in which morals are blurred. Every choice you will make will shape your journey and forge the way that you carry out your final mission. It promises dual combat as you harness the powers of the sun and the moon, with multiple endings to uncover as your choices decide the fate of the universe and those who inhabit it. This one is out on the 6th of April and it will cost £19.99. Then we have Melon Journey Bittersweet Memories. This is a pixelated narrative adventure, which as you would have seen, has a strong Game Boy look to it and follows the adventures of Honeydew, an employee of a melon soda factory, in a mission to find her missing best friend. You'll need to collect clues, trail shady characters and sneak your way through the seedy underworld using your keen observational skills and quick wit to piece together the whole picture before it's too late. Now I'm a real sucker for anything that looks like it could have run on a Game Boy, especially top down games for some reason, so this one has piqued my interest without really telling me enough to make me fully interested. Anyway, it's also out on the 6th and it will cost £12.79 or your regional equivalent. Also this week we have Paparazzi. As you may have ascertained this is a dog photography game where you'll need to snap photos of dogs while maintaining your social media presence. You'll need to dodge between people as you try to capture canine beauty, double jumping across buildings or using slow motion zooming to capture mid-air moments. Sounds absolutely crazy but I'm sure it will find its audience with its zany premise and it will cost £17.99 or your regional equivalent. The next release is Bum Balloon, a fairly cheap 2D platformer where there are seven worlds to explore and you'll need to overcome various perils to save Bum Balloon's magical kingdom and rescue Princess Moon. There are 35 levels spread across those seven worlds and five unlockable skins for your character. It amazes me how hearing the word bum even as part of a whole word never ceases to be funny even as you approach 40 years old but aside from that this is also out on the 6th and it will cost just £4.99. 
Next is Alakon, which is a game about trying to take photos of dozens of whimsical creatures using magical tools to get them to strike collectible poses, according to the blurb. There are 50 plus characters, each with unique personalities, quests and those collectible poses, and your photo scores will unlock new levels. There are both free roaming sections and those that are on rails, a bit like Pokemon Snap I would suppose, and there is also mention of puzzles and those quests to solve. It will be interesting to see how it's all pulled together, seems to be quite a lot of elements there, and it will sell for £14.39 or your regional equivalent. Following on from that is Drill Deal Oil Tycoon. This is an oil business simulator where you must start from a tiny rig and expand it to a large complex of connected platforms. You'll need to look out for threats such as weather and fire and take care of your working crew. Manage your reputation and optimize designs to make for more efficient production and ultimately increase cash flow. I'm a big fan of business simulations, the more the merrier as far as I'm concerned and I'll try any business setting once, but I am slightly put off here by the voxel style characters. That's just a personal preference though, not being a huge fan of such graphics, but it certainly sounds as if it has the core ingredients for such a game. It will cost £12.59 and it's out on the 7th. The penultimate game for the week is Grim Grimoire Once More, which is developed by Vanillaware and published by NIS America. This first released in 2007 on the PlayStation 2 and is a real-time strategy game where you control a young mage named Lilip Lan on her journey within renowned Academy for Magicians Silver Star Tower. All is not as it seems within the tower, with monsters, mysteries and menaces lurking about, and you'll need to harness the power of magic in order to dispel the secrets hidden within. The blurb makes absolutely no mention of what has been enhanced for this re-release, if anything of course, although I have heard elsewhere that the graphics have been touched up, there's a gallery mode that's now been added, and rewind and mid-battle save features. Either way, this is one I have on pre-order, the physical version that is, as I am a big fan of Vanillaware's work, and have never played this one. It's out on the 7th, for £44.99, or your regional equivalent. Our teachers are all famous magicians, Study hard under any teacher you like. This is a dream come true. And finally for the week we have the Library of Babel, or Babel, depending on your pronunciation. This game was inspired by the story of the same name by Jorge Luis Borges and introduces you to a world set 20,000 years after the extinction of humanity and now run by advanced robots who know very little about their mythical creators. You play as Ludovic, a seeker sent to investigate a murder case in Babylon who finds himself in increasingly dangerous situations as he follows the murderer's trail. It promises a moody philosophical science fiction story inspired by both the Library of Babel and Apocalypse Now, dialogue and inventory management systems reminiscent of the graphic adventure games of the 90s, and deadly obstacles and deadlier enemies to overcome with stealth and agility preferred over violence. I said in a recent upcoming video that I do like to see games based on classic books and literature, and whilst this is clearly a loose inspiration, it's always interesting to see a reinterpretation of a book's main theme. This is out on the 7th and it will cost £18.99, but you can get 10% off of that price up until just before launch. So there you have it, another week of Nintendo Switch releases. Do any of these games interest you at all? Will you be picking any of them up? Please do let us know in the comment section below. A big thank you to the sponsor of today's video and their upcoming release, Curse of the Sea Rats. Don't forget you can check that game out via the links below. And if you are looking for eShop credit to pick that game up or any other for that matter, you can do so via our website, switchup.gg. There's also a link down there to Play Asia if you wish to import any games. Again, use the link, use the code stated, and you can get yourself 5% off of your order. 
A quick thank you to our patrons and our channel members, of course, for your continued support, and to each and every one of you for watching our videos. Take care, and until next time, happy gaming.